Hello everybody, welcome users of YouTube and welcome to yet another YouTube video by Daniel and it Daniel's videos and etc. That was probably the most hardest talk of an introduction ever. Anyway, let's get on with this video. Today I'm here to do an unboxing, but before I do that I'm going to talk with you guys about this cool slide I explored. Typically I like to get my photo supplies from Freestyle Photographic Supplies. Um, and I was recommended this place from my photography teacher, Mr. C, as we call him. But anyway, um, I like to buy um, this film, this 120 film. I actually do have this in my film refrigerator. Um, if you saw the repair video for it, you probably have seen me put it in, and I'll show you a box of it in a moment. Anyway, I like to buy this film from this uh, very website. As you can see... Uh, a 400 ISO 120 size film is only $3.20. It is actually a pretty cheap a black and white film than compared to $5 of Kodak, $5 everything else. I mean, it's like really cheap. And um, their 400 ISO black and white film, a 35 millimeter type, is only $2.69 each, which is a pretty good deal too. Uh, I believe it's the cheapest I was able to find this film in. And uh, yeah, they do offer in sheets, light sensitive photo paper. Uh, not cheap, but I mean the film is pretty good. I think I should I am might get one of these premium film cases someday um, and uh, See right here Compare and save on black and white film. Here's a Kodak Tri-X. This is four dollars and ninety nine cents per roll Comparing that to Arista.edu Ultra that is two sixty nine per roll and that's pretty cheap comparison It's, it's uh, I believe Arista.edu and Arista premium are an exclusive brand to photographic supplies. I believe they might own them. Hold on a moment. I will show you the roll of film I usually buy from this site um, in detail. Anyway, here is a roll of this film. This is Arista.edu Ultra Black and White Photographic Film. It is the educator's choice. And this is the same kind of film we use at my school. Um, this is 400 ISO. And um, yeah, and it is say, free, it is manufactured exclusively for freestyle photographic supplies. In other words, you won't be able to find this anywhere else. And that is its expiration date. Made in the Czech Republic. I do have this film stored in that film refrigerator, by the way. It's really cold right now. But, yeah, that's basically the film I use. And uh, maybe it might, maybe someday I might buy um, 100 ISO and 200 ISO. I might buy a film with a roll of those someday. But for now, that's the kind of film I use. And that's the film that I use on my Flickr page, too, uh, when I refer to my 120 film. Unless stated otherwise, that's the film I use. Until I heard about this place, Photo Warehouse. And no, they do not sell Arista.edu film. They do sell Holga accessories, like Freestyle Photo. Um, I came across... There we go. I came across Holga 120 cameras. Okay, I came across this. And I was looking down through the list until I noticed this thing right here. Superhead's 120 35mm adapter with counter is only $39.95. Basically, what this is is a 35mm adapter for 120 film, for a 120 Holga. And I went onto their website, looked at it, and yeah, this site is pretty neat. I ordered it, and that will be saved for our next video. But while I was looking around, I found this little guy. This right here is a Holga 120M. This can be purchased for $7.49, I believe, as of when I make this video. And it's basically a mini keychain version of a Holga 120N. Or maybe that could be the S. Okay, anyway, it's an N. Um, so it's a tiny little keychain, that's it. Made in the China, where all the best products of Holga are made. I don't know if that's a sticker. That is a sticker, so... Yep, that is true China. Alright, so here in the window, you can see the tiny little camera. And no, this does not operate as a real Holga. It does not work. It's just a plastic keychain. And it does look like a real Holga, though. So, I'm going to unbox it right now. So, opening the box here, you get the camera and a little pla cardboard piece. That's it. And can I pull it out? No, it's stuck. Now, why is it stuck? I don't know. I'm going to push this. Oh, something's coming out here. Alright, am I still stuck? Oh, okay, I'm not stuck anymore. So here's a little keychain of a camera. It is so adorable. Shutter button doesn't work. I think it's just a piece of plastic molded into it. Um, they were went really detailed with this. Oh, they forgot the uh, eye hole. 
for the back here. Um, but they got the slot. Uh, they got the little thing right here that shows you what kind of pictures. They even got the Made in China stuff. And it's a switch. I uh, don't know why it's that big, but it's a switch. And they sort of got it right with the top one here, except it is too much into the bezel of the camera. They got the shutter, no lens. But they do actually have the specs of the lens, optical lens, um, a one quarter, um, a one colon eight. F a focal point is sixty millimeters. So. Yeah, looks just like a Holga 120N. So I'm going to go ahead and peel the plastic up of here because I can tell that that is plastic. No, there's no plastic on the lens. All right, so that's that's it for that. Um, and it does look like you wouldn't be able to mount that keychain on any side of that camera because there are two little loop sticks sticking out of it. Now, let's go ahead and see what else is in here. So it looks like there is. Oh, is that a little book? Yeah, it is a book. So you also get this little book thing. A keychain. Uh, what the heck is this? Is that a lanyard? Oh, I think this can be worn as a necklace. We will have to look at the box. I think that's it. Alright. So here's our little camera dude. It's a weird string. There's the keychain. I wanted to attach this to my keys. And the keychain's very odd and cheap. Didn't even bother attaching it. Alright, so what is this? I'm gonna open this. Uh, this is basically a little history book of this Holga. I'm gonna probably read this. Maybe tomorrow, I don't know. Um, but it looks like a basic book about the history of the Holga. So that's pretty neat. And this tells you about how Holga is pronounced. Two. Oh, uh, I've seen that model before. Um, but yep. I'm going to probably read this a little bit later. I've got this guy open. Going the wrong way here. So it looks like a piece of string. So I guess that can be worn as a necklace if you... Ah, you probably attach them both ends. Oh, I see what they're doing here. It's imitating Holga. Basically, you tie this end into the camera, the other end of the camera... You wear it as a necklace like you would with the hand, uh, the arm or uh, neck strap with this actual Holga. My, my Holga actually has a neck strap right there. So, I guess that's what that's supposed to be. Alright, let's get this keychain thing out the window. Out the window, never mind. Um, basically, it is a cheap design. Looks like I'm going to need to crimp that little guide together so I'm gonna probably get my pliers here in a second and I will uh, squish these together I've reassured myself that those are probably not gonna fall off my crimping job and the same thing for the other end so these are my new keys I guess or my new key things so I have a Holga camera and to go along with it I have a mini Holga keychain It'd be nice if it was green, but that's okay. I think it's kind of cool that I actually this, I, they actually make these. So, here you go. Keychain Holga. Now, typically when I go home, I usually have these in my pocket. Camera is a little bit thick, so I don't think I'll be able to fit in my pocket anymore. I probably will have to put it in a more accessible area in my backpack. And probably, maybe, probably in this top pocket up here, maybe for now, or maybe one of these side pockets. Oh, well. Well, guys, this is the end of today's video. Thank you for watching this episode of Daniel's Videos and Etc. Like the video if you like it, and dislike it if you hated it. I don't know. We'll see. This is probably the most adorable thing I've ever seen in my life, other than babies. This is the most adorable thing I've ever seen. Um, um, by the way, those two things I just showed in the beginning of the video... Yes, you will see an upcoming video about my collection of the Moody Blues. I'm a very big fan. And I'm going to start a new video segment uh, or video series on my YouTube channel called Soldering Blog. Basically what I do is I'm going to buy one of these kits and I'm going to basically um, solder one of these together. Basically I'm just going to take my time with it. I'm just going to like solder a whole area. Then I'll pick up the camera, record, and tell you guys what I just did. 
put down the camera, continue doing what I need to do, and then pick it up. And basically, that's what the new segment is. So, thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one. I still haven't collected every single album yet. I do have a lot of them, but not all. So, like three or four or five more albums to go. But um, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe if you'd like.